we are going to learn how to form information questions in French tonight. An information question is a question that seeks information other than a yes or no response. In order to ask information questions and to be able to do it either on a test or when I'm not around, say you're in a cafe in France with a very, very attractive French speaker and you want to sound intelligent, you'll be thrilled that you memorize these rules. There are three ways of doing it. First of all, a statement plus the question word. Secondly, the question word plus inversion. And thirdly, the question word plus est-ce que and the statement. Now let's make these little paragraph things go away. Go away. Thank you. Alrighty then, let's look at it. We do the same thing with all of the information words. Statement plus pourquoi and then pourquoi plus inversion or pourquoi plus est-ce que plus a statement. Please notice you can have the word at the end and just use rising intonation. You just make your statement, use a question mark and question word with a question mark and use rising intonation. Or you can use a question word at the beginning, like in columns B and C, and then you're going to have to choose between inversion or est-ce que. You cannot have inversion and est-ce que. It's one or the other. Please note that in the book, they told you that if you put pourquoi at the end of a sentence, well, they didn't tell you. They just told you you couldn't. I'm telling you you can, but most of the time it sounds either a little bit belligerent or a little too casual. But you can mitigate that by just sounding very sweet and nice. So let's practice with the following statements. We have tu manges, nous travaillons, vous partez, and elle écoute. So let's start with number one, tu manges. If we want to ask anything about that statement, like why are you eating her? When do you eat her? Where do you eat her? At which table do you eat? You're going to have to use an information question, using an information question word. So imagine you hear somebody saying, je mange Well, you're going to want to seek more information. So you can do that in three different ways. You can say, tu manges quand? You can say, quand manges-tu? Or you could say, quand est-ce que tu manges? Notice that in A, we stick the question word at the end, quand, and in B and C, we put it right there in the beginning. And in B and C, we had to decide between inversion or est-ce que, but we did not use them simultaneously. We're going to do the same thing with nous travaillons. So imagine that you hear somebody say, nous travaillons parce que... Well, naturally, you're going to want more information. And here are the three ways to seek it. Vous travaillez pourquoi? Or, pourquoi travaillez-vous? Or, pourquoi est-ce que vous travaillez? Now, notice, we've chosen between inversion and est-ce que. Notice also that the book told us that we're not allowed to say vous travaillez pourquoi. I guess if I just said Vous travaillez pourquoi? It might sound rude, but if I try really hard to sound sweet. Vous travaillez pourquoi? Maybe I'll sound a little unsophisticated, but I am not grammatically incorrect. Okay, let's move on. Another one. Vous partez. You hear, vous partez à Fondor. And you're going to say, vous partez où? Or, où partez-vous? Or, où est-ce que vous partez? All right, so you're getting the hang of it, right? You know that you can just whack that question word on at the end of the sentence, or you can use it at the beginning and use inversion, or you can use it at the beginning and use, that's right, est-ce que. So let's do another one. What if you hear, il a pris trois gâteaux? J'en prends. You would ask, tu en prends combien? Or you would say, combien en prends-tu? Or you would say, combien est-ce que tu en prends? Now, Note, I did stick that word en in there. We haven't studied it yet, but it means of them or of them. Now, before we move on, let us recall the rules about mis about inviting Mr. T and the Hyphen Brothers when we ask a question. Do you guys remember Mr. T and the Hyphen Brothers? He looks like this. When we use inversion, 
in the third person singular. That means il, elle, or un. Unless the verb already ends in a T in that form, for example, il finit or elle obéit, you must add in a T surrounded by hyphens. For example, you would have elle travaille. You use inversion, you say travaille-t-elle. We added Mr. T and the hyphen brothers, didn't we? We added hyphen T hyphen, otherwise known as Mr. T and the hyphen brothers. Il prend la tomate. Oh, it should have been elle prend la tomate. Hein? Well, let's just change this to il. Prend-il la tomate? On marche. Marche-t-on? Note that we don't need to add hyphen T hyphen to verb forms that already end in T. Elle finit. Finit-elle? Il meurt. Meurt-il? Now, let's imagine that we hear, elle écoute quand nous voit. We're going to seek more information like this. Elle écoute quand? Quand écoute-t-elle? Quand est-ce qu'elle écoute? Did you notice the liaison between the D and the vowel there? It sounds like a T. Quand écoute-t-elle? Quand est-ce qu'elle écoute? That was predictable, right? I hope you're getting bored because you understand this really well. Okay, let's try one last thing. Let us see what happens with the word quel, which means which. Notice that quel is quel. Stop that. Quel. No, you stop that autocorrect. Quel. Let's see if it corrects it. Ah, it's figured it out. It knows I'm mean and it won't put up with much. Quel, 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 and quel. Say you here. Vous écoutez les trois émissions. You might respond. Nous écoutons quelles émissions? Quelles émissions écoutons-nous? Quelles émissions est-ce que nous écoutons? So what do you think I'm going to say here? Can you predict it? Let's see. A. A. Now what do you think is going to happen? Besides the autocorrect. Ooh. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think I am going to tell you? Ah, you got it. I'm going to tell you that you used quel here and you used quel here. In this instance, you used inversion. <clears throat> In this instance, <coughs> pardon, you used escu. What about the first one? We didn't exactly use quel at the end because you can't use it all on its own, which you need a noun that goes with it. Okay, before I expire and before you die listening to me, I am going to say bonsoir, bonne soirée, and thank you so much for listening. Now, if I can just turn this off, we'll all be in a very happy place. <laughs>